Uh, hey, the story happened earlier this week, and it's t- one of these horrible stories that has actually turned into something very, very good. We had to Framingham talk to the head of the state police, Colonel Marion McGovern. Colonel, uh, we're talking about the Burlington Toys for Tots heist, and somehow this thing has turned into something very, very good. Oh, VB, it certainly has. We ha- could never expect the outpouring of support and, and the amount of toys that we have received. In one of our barracks alone, oh, just in the last 24 hours, we have exceeded what we collected for the entire month. And that's more or less the, the, what we're seeing across the state. And, Vivi, what's really increased, and, uh, you know, when you think that over the years, we've been doing this for 26 years, we've seen about three to $4,000 in cash donations. In 24 hours, and we don't have all the checks in yet, we know that we've reached over $65,000 in checks. 65000 did you say? 65 in 24 hours, and all the checks aren't in. And don't forget, we're still going until 6 o'clock tonight. Yeah, you know, I was reading one of the stories uh, from the Salem Evening News where they were talking about how some of their uh, facilities didn't think they'd be able to take care of the kids because of this happened. And the last line in the story from one of the women is, we need a Christmas miracle. I know it's cliche to say that, but is this not indeed a Christmas miracle, what's happening oh, I- here? VB, I couldn't agree more with you. You know, we always say there's always some good that comes out of a tragedy, and you know what I've said about this, the people that did this and and committed this crime, because it is a crime in more ways than one. But to see the goodness of people, the people that walked into this headquarters, a man yesterday with $65,000, I'm sorry, a $15,000 check, Fallon Community Health Plan, $10,000 check. There's the first one to call before any fanfare yesterday morning to give their donation. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts and all of the people that have just come forward in checks in small amounts and in very large amounts. And, you know, what we want people to know that even one toy will make a difference in a kid's Christmas this year. Is there anything in particular? Because I know that the thieves targeted a certain group and a certain dollar amount of gift, or at least we think that. Is there any, anything in particular that you think if people want to still get in on this that they should bring to these drop-off points? Yeah, we we actually know that they did, VB. They targeted the the higher-end gifts, uh, more the technological gifts. And uh, uh, so we've had people, we've had uh, people walk into one of our barracks bringing in 20 iPods. Another woman walked into another barracks with 15 iPods. Uh, That's the type of gift that we saw were missing, amongst other things. But you know what, VB, at this point where, you know, time is of the essence, we're just asking for anyone to drop off anything they can, and anything they can will be put to to use. And that's the best part about this program with Toys for Tots. Everything they get, it will be going to some needy children. They'll be going out to the Central Mass area, the greater Central Mass, out to Athol today to, to bring out more toys that they weren't even thinking of doing if it wasn't for the outpouring support that we've seen in the last 24 hours. Uh, I just got about 30 seconds left. How is the investigation going, and uh, do we have solid leads that we're working on here? Uh, I don't want to say this solid, VB, but we have a couple of leads, uh, one that looks pretty good, uh, and uh, Burlington Police has been working around the clock on this because everyone uh, has taken this to heart. To, for someone to do this at this time of year is just despicable. Well, unlike the, uh, the story of the Grinch, if you catch these guys, I don't want them slicing the roast beef. I want them behind bars because, as you said, this was a crime and one that right. it just makes you sick to, hear, to think about what these guys did. Yeah, and to know that they went in there and targeted certain toys. Toys, you know, and, and that's the toughest age group to get toys from, as you can imagine. And um, th- that's what's difficult for us. But these checks that are coming in, that's what's going to make up the difference. And we're, we're pretty sure uh, that all of these groups and agencies and communities that we're looking for toys are going to be given those toys that they need. Quickly, if people want to drop off toys they have until 6 tonight, where do they do that? At any state police barracks across the state, we're going to be open. We'll be taken. If they, can, if they want to make donations, make them in the form of a check made out to Toys for Tots and any uh, unwrapped toy. And we just want to thank the public and especially thank you for what you've been doing in the media. You've been great by getting this word out. Thank you so much. Colonel McGovern, Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year, and good luck catching these perps. Thank you, Phoebe. Same to you. Quick time.